made out of uh, the pink foam insulation from Home Depot. Costs about six, seven dollars for a two by eight foot sheet. Plane has a wing from an old Megatech Skyliner, sort of a Cessna type airplane. I just took a piece of the three quarter inch foam, made the shape of the fuselage, and simply hot glued the wing to the top and then put a 3 8 piece of pine for the stick of the fuselage and use these little pieces of tube from helium balloons, the, my, uh, the mylar balloons come on those little sticks and they're hollow tubes and I just cut pieces of them off and hot glue them right to the to the fuselage pretty crude looking everything's just right there and what I did is I melted I melted holes in the foam insulation for the stuff like here using a chisel I actually just heat this chisel up here with a propane torch just melt everything away with the chisel. You just as soon as you touch it, the stuff just melts away. I made this space for the battery, and I just used strapping tape to hold it in. And there's a bolt with some washers here for nose weight. One thing I want to show you about this way of cutting openings and shaping the uh, foam with a hot chisel or a hot tool of any kind is that when it's really hot like say I wanted to cut inside that little square you want to stay in inside of that line a little bit because it melts out around it really quick this is a 500 milliamp lipo I, I also before I used a 300 and I get about 10 minutes. I thought I would get a little more, but, and that's not even at full throttle, but this is a, a slow flyer, like 1250 kilovolt brushless motor. It's an Emax CF2822. It runs really good, really reliable. And I had to put the prop on backwards since I made it a pusher prop, this prop is from that same Megatech plane that the wing came from. I had to put the drill the back of the prop out so I could mount it backwards. This is just a cheap ESC. Uh, two cheap servos. They're just kind of stuck in the side of the foam as well. And so is the radio. It's a cheap radio that I got off eBay from from a plane that in one of those planes that you buy online <clears throat> like from Hobby King or Nitro Planes it's an FM setup uh, for the motor mount I actually to get it high enough I had to cut the wing out but I actually cut a tinker toy in half the wooden tinker toy I cut in half and mounted the motor to that and hot glued everything on. The hot glue on this foam is just amazing. The metal pieces that can run to the control surfaces from the servos, they are actually from a roll of fairly hard wire which is used in pin guns. The pin gun actually just snips off what it needs and makes it into pins and it's hard to get it straight and you can see this looks really crappy <clears throat> but it's stiff enough that it does the job you don't have to worry about it bending too much as long as it's supported the tail is made out of the foam from a meat tray like that hamburger comes on it's thin it's nice nice smooth foam 
and for the hinges I just used strapping tape. I added a little bit to the top of the rudder because I wasn't getting quite enough turning authority because you can see that the rudder isn't very high. <clears throat> but now it, it flies really good.